Then your girl gave me just a little bit of lot chop Baby so cold, he from the north, he from the Canada Bankroll so low, I got nothing else that I can withdraw Ran out the door, I shot my wrist, it go like sha 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 I got your boy singing la 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 I shot my wrist, it go like sha 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 I got your boy singing la 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 How I try like that Good morning, YouTube. Happy New Year. Hope everyone had a good holiday. We are back. Unfortunately, I actually got sick the week of New Year's after I dropped that uh, last video. And I really haven't done much to the Subaru or the house. You already saw it. We got the first floor down and then we covered it with a tarp. You could kind of tell. And uh, shortly after that, we got about a foot of snow. We are about to start a fire in the barn. Get it nice and warm in here for us today. I ended off where I was taking a look at this clutch, and as you can see right there, it's a Clutch Max. Just go ahead and order yourself up a nice, uh, nice OEM replacement Exedi clutch kit. Get the clutch installed, then we're putting you in today. That's it. And once we get that in, it's really not many steps to actually get the car running once the train's in. So first step of this, clutch install is, we gotta get the pilot bearing in. Here we go. Should've known, a lot of times the rubber mallets make it super hard to uh, tap in little bearings like that. So, just had to use a socket and a regular hand there. And grab our clutch here. Get the alignment tool in. Couple of these bolts in. Okay. And there's our clutch. Mm. Mm. I didn't film it, but I got the slave cylinder on there. Clutch pedal feels pretty good. We are going to move into putting the drive shaft in next, then the front axles, bolt up the uh, struts. WRX successfully started last night. Didn't get to do much other than start it. I was just un impatient, needing to see if she started. Sounded pretty crazy, and that is because the exhaust is not even bolted up. I'm waiting for that three bolt gasket to come in, but for now, we are about to pop in a couple bolts. Just bolt that thing up so we can drop this thing down, go for a test drive. As long as it all checks out, shifts through the gears and everything, we are gonna fixing the windows. Not that any of the windows itself are broken, but I believe this thing has a bad master window switch. First test drive, the fresh trans. Right off the rip, I can already notice that the uh, clutch pedal feels significantly better than it did before. Yeah, clutch feels nice. Before I did the trans on this, whenever whoever did this clutch last, no one ever greased basically the main shaft of the trans so that the throw out bearing was barely sliding back and forth when you were pressing the clutch. So, I think that's what I'm feeling for sure. 
I also fixed one of the main two bolt connections from the inner core to the turbo. People I bought it from had the bolt just sitting there, not even tight. So I fixed that and I can already feel the throttle response getting much better. But yeah, she's shifting nice. That old trans was grinding third pretty good. And that third gear shift was butter, so it feels nice. I just want to drive it a little bit. I'm not going to film this whole drive. I got the co-pilot in here. But I am about to go on a good little 15 minute test drive. Because I do want to start dailying this car. So we are going to pick up when I get back in the barn. It all last night went for a test drive in the 2012. It actually went really good, minus the fact that um, when I pulled into my driveway, it ran out of gas, because I hadn't checked if it had gas since I actually even bought it. So put five gallons in it, and she's running really good. We are going to be hopping on to the 2004 WRX here. The main project, we decided to take the external wastegate out we had because we, we are running a stock setup here, stock turbo, stock block, everything stock, but we wanted to try to run the external wastegate, but we couldn't figure out how to run the vacuum lines. So we got this stock guy here. We are gonna start putting in. We're waiting for this uh, EGT sensor. Before we start that, we have a set of, oh, got a set of four brand new coil packs for this thing. You know Subarus. You know, tune-ups on these are probably the least fun things to do. What's up guys, so it's a couple days later, but today we finally got that last little EGT sensor. So we're gonna continue on that, get that all buttoned up and go for a test drive with this orange over here. Hopefully it all goes smoothly and we could continue on to the next cars that we have to get ready for spring. But, like every other day I've been filming this video, it's freezing and we gotta get our heat source going, we gotta get our fire going. So I'm about to go fire up the tractor, grab some wood. Healthy load of wood there. A little bit, but let's stack it up. And we're gonna get to work. We got the new stock up pipe we're about to be putting in the WRX here. First thing when we started trying to do this, we uh, we had the external aftermarket one in there, and we were actually able to slide it out without taking the turbo out. So we went to put the stock one in, and this one does not, in fact, fit. So we are taking the turbo out right now as we speak. Then we're going to put the up pipe in, reinstall the turbo. Bolt everything up on the turbo because it's actually just in there, in place, loose. We're going to do that, get the down pipe in, intercooler. And we should be firing this thing up. We're going to need some coolant because we lost a lot of coolant, but we are getting to our startup. intercoolers on these Subarus are an absolute pain in the butt to get on but we got everything buttoned up back together yeah I got my coolant funnel on here I just filled it up with coolant I'm about to get it off the jack stand and our uh, our bait two over here start it up let it run for a little bit bleed the coolant system and I'm gonna go take this for a test drive here guys <laughs> Got both Subarus back together. There's still some little odds and ends that both of them are gonna need, but they seem to be running pretty good right now, so I'm pretty stoked about that. We're gonna give you a little clip of them both running right next to each other. So I would say they're both like 90% right now, bunch of little things, but we are gonna continue 
on with the cars guys i'm not sure what the next video is going to be drop a comment if you like this video thank you everyone hope you enjoyed see you next time